why he in my mouth and I saw girl knees and put my hair into a ponytail and take his food and takes off his clothes and I want to pleasure him for We have freaking technical difficulties. All right, so hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Zariah, and I'm gonna try not to look at the, I guess the little camera thing at the top. I'm gonna try to look at y'all. So if you see me like kind of drifting off, it's not y'all. It's that I'm looking at myself. So, but today we got another banger video, and like I know, I know, y'all been telling me why the heck have you been going like in order? Well. I want to because of course my Alaska videos are like taking longer than usual and like I really want to be done with them because like they take so long for me to edit and like I just be so tired because y'all don't understand like during the week I got an army I'm a pre-med major like I be doing so much and I just be so tired and I don't feel like editing sometimes and editing those is like editing like a whole movie and I just want something quick so right now y'all are going to be reacting with me to my old Wattpad stories <laughs> yeah it's embarrassing. I have not checked that mess since, when was that? Cause the last time I even went on Wattpad to actually read a story was like so long ago. Like I can't even like think when was last time. But basically if you don't know Wattpad, it's basically this app where like teens and even some young adults usually go in there, write their own chapters. It's basically like a great space cause then people in the public can respond to it, they can view it and all that good stuff. But I don't know about y'all, but back then, Wattpad was actually fun. I don't know what it's like now, but the last time I did check, they have so many ads and stuff, and I don't like that. I like the back then, because at least back then, I don't know, it just felt like it was so, like, I guess it wasn't as popularized as it was now, because now they have ads, you gotta pay for stuff. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. But, so, we gonna get to my Wattpad story, and my Wattpad story, you know, it kinda, got some clout so I ain't gonna lie but I'm gonna tell y'all the good and bad of my story we're gonna read some chapters together we're gonna go through all the embarrassment and I just I haven't looked at it since literally like freshman year of high school and I'm almost well, I'm a senior now in college gonna graduate not this year but in 2024 you know okay shoot but you know I have not seen this in so many years I think the last time I seen this is like 2019 so it's been a while Yes, yeah, so we can go over the video and just stay tuned because the girl is excited. But a little bit of background. So like during the time I wrote this, it was like, I think 2015, 2016. I'm a 2000 baby. So around that time I was like 15 and 16. And you know, at that age, teens will be teens. And not gonna lie, I was one of them. I, was, I wasn't wild because like I met some people that did some wild stuff, but <laughs> I was like a sneaky type wild. <laughs> Like, for real. But that's a whole other story time. We're gonna get into that past. That's gonna be like way in the future though. Cause right now I'm just trying to keep it short and sweet. We can get to the video. But yeah, so let me go. Oh yeah, I forgot. Gotta give you a backstory. So like I said, back in 2015, 2016, during this time, I was like freshman year of high school. Haven't did nothing. Don't even know nothing. The only thing I probably have seen was like stuff on the internet, if you know what I mean, but you know, I can't say it. But yeah, so during this time too, I was heavy into Miley's behavior, heavy into Ao and Tao. I was a K-pop girl. It it was so bad, <laughs> and I just looked a mess back then. Like it was, ew, it was this. If y'all saw me back then, y'all would realize why I was very much single back then. But it's okay, look, cause if you didn't take me serious back then, do not come around now, cause I'm gonna definitely block you behind. But yeah, so I wrote this, um, Imagine, I call it Shamati or something like that. That was his Instagram name before he changed it to Teo, if you know what I mean. Basically, he's a dancer, and at the time, me and my sister was very, like, addicted to Les Twins, like, all that, like, I'm still, I love Les Twins, like. And then Aeon Teo, we loved them when they came out, like, you know, they did the swing, all them videos. You, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But... 
So when I wrote these chapters, in my mind during that time, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start writing chapters because me and my friend, we used to do it for fun, like in class. But like people, like they knew I was writing like smut. If you don't know what smut is, I'm gonna leave it in the description because I don't wanna get too much into that. And I don't wanna get my stuff um, age restricted, so yeah. So we're gonna get into the story and I'm gonna give y'all a little background still. But let's get into it. So I know y'all wanna hear the juicy stuff. So yeah, let me make sure. I, uh, I can't screen the whole. Well, I can't screen record the whole mess because I ain't got no space on my phone. But we gonna get into it, and it's so crazy because like I'm still getting notifications, like from this book. And if you don't know, let me see. Yeah, so my book name. What else? Last time I had left off. Let's go back. I'm trying to go back to the title. Ooh, cha cha cha. Let's go back. How, dang, I don't even know how to work this thing. Um, no. Okay, so if you don't know, that's the book right there to your left. You can see it. But, then how do you go back to like the first chapter? Oh, at the top. All right. So yeah, so my, my reads, dang. My book caught 55.7K views since, well, I don't know when I made this. And the last time, oh, I was right, the last time I edited was like in October 9th, 2019. That was the last time I seen this. And it only got 17 chapters, which is crazy. And it says it's ongoing. I should have just ended it. But, yeah, and it's also still rated. Like, I have not updated this in a long time. Oh, Lord, that's so cringy. And please be aware, when I'm reading this, like, this is the mind of a 16-year-old, 15-year-old. Child, I did not care about punctuation. The writing was horrible, so do not judge. Yeah, whatever. So we're gonna read. I'm gonna go. Now, I do remember some of the imagines that I did write. Some was very, like, yeah, if you know what I mean. But um, some was simple, because, like, if you don't know what an imagine book is, like, or, or smut, sometimes, like, there'll be different scenarios that you would do, and, like, you'll put Y slash N to um, represent your name. So when somebody's reading it, they can kind of visualize or kind of imagine that, that that's them, basically, on the video. But I think I remember, I don't know if it's we don't talk anymore, but I'm gonna read some sleepover. Because some sleepover, I remember it was, it, it was some stuff in it. But let's read it. And child, it's, <laughs> it's the freaking chapter picture for me. Let me um, mute my freaking phone, because I forgot. All right. Authors know this is set in the future, maybe like five years from now. Oh, that's so disgusting. By the way, my name is Araya. Why I start off like that? Okay, you woke up at three in the morning to a loud knocking at your door was already ready and thundering. Still, you move slowly while rubbing your eyes and put on a robe. The knocking got louder of every step you made to your door. You look through the peephole and see your friend outside crying with tears. You automatically open the door and as soon as you open it, he rushed inside his eyes red and puffed with tears. Now, let me see. Let me stop screen recording because I forgot my phone bag and I'm store so I'm gonna just take screenshots so you can just kind of follow me. All right. So you woke up at three in the morning to a loud knocking at your door. It was already raining and thundering, still tired. You moved slowly while rubbing your eyes and on a robe. Did I just say that? <laughs> okay. Matteo's point of view POV. And a POV, if you don't know what it means, is point of view. I just got out of this relationship. I actually thought I loved her, but seeing her with other guys all the time and leave me, I just finally had enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> the person I knew I could talk to the person I knew who I could talk with at this moment was the right. I was in her city at the time, so I might as well stop by and say hello. It's funny because um, I feel like, but this is like gonna be a future comment. Well, I'm gonna save it to the end, I'm gonna save it. All right, so da da da, I enjoy her company and how she didn't care what she said when anybody was around, fighting about the tears. It was obvious she could tell something was wrong with me, but you know what, I don't care. I'll tell her anyway. I came up to her door and could honestly tell she wasn't up. It looked officially black in her house. She came a long way from just being the goody two shoes in her parents' house, which is true, because back then I was a goody two shoes. 
I still am, but like my parents is very strict, so like I can't do nothing. I can't party, can't hang out with friends, which is exactly why I'm up behind. As soon as I came to college, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of went a little bit wild. But in a good way, because I didn't do nothing crazy, but it's just that I had fun in my freshman year and sophomore year of college. No regrets. But um, let's see. Let's like fast forward. Let's get to the good stuff. I know y'all want to see that. Okay. All right. Give me memories of what happened earlier and now for my so called ex. I couldn't hold back the tears and just had to let it all out. I banged on her door, hoping she would hear me. Within a couple minutes later, I see Zariah. I eagerly come inside and just have to tell Zari the whole story. And that's the end of his POV. Why would she do this to me? I loved her so much. <laughs> she is so stupid to us that I'm not the one using her. Her so-called new boyfriend doesn't give a F about her, but instead she chooses him. Matteo says. I hope I pronounced his name right. Cause Teo, Matteo, hopefully. Okay. I felt so sad for him. I put him into a hug, letting him take all out his tears. I simply say, I'm sorry that she doesn't realize you are a good person. Like, there's anybody better than you. Lifting up his head. Child, <laughs> why am I re I'm trying to summarize this mess so bad. Lifting his head up, Tao says, there's plenty of people who are better than me. Sounds familiar. With strong tone of dislike of what he just said, I eagerly say, you are nice. I don't know why she did that and no, they are not. You're an awesome person. Who could make anybody happy with just your smile? It's sad she couldn't see that. While wiping his tears away on his face with my hand, a smile appeared on his face and he said, thank you a lot. And I said, no problem, bro. The hell? <laughs> he said, don't. I said, do you have any change of clothes? You can take a shower here since it's already late. I don't think you should be driving in that hard rain. Maybe you should stay over until tomorrow. Okay, sure. Plus, I want to talk to you anyway since we don't have the chance like we used to because of the complex things in our own separate lives of work. I'll be right back. Time has passed. It's already like 5 in the morning. Trying to fight the sleepiness, I turn on the TV. I hear the water turn off from my bedroom. Bathroom, I meant. Bathroom. And to my astonishment, as soon as the door opened, I see Matteo looking real good. Why the hell? Ew, you can tell this is so old. Why I got XDDD? <laughs> that is so ugly. He was wearing nothing but a towel. His hair was looking wet and curly. And my man, I say, and my man, and man, can I just say his body was looking yummy? I hurried to look away hoping that he didn't just catch me just basically staring like an idiot but he did see you gave him a smile. That was um, part one of that. Now to give a background, so we're going to skip to the juicy stuff. Now what's so interesting about this whole book that I wrote is that all these chapters is already pre-made, like dead ass. So we're going to get to that. So back then I had this high school crush who did me dirty. Like, this is my first heartbreak, not gonna lie. And it's so crazy because, you know how life is so funny? He had moved away and everything. Like, I forgot, I think it was either freshman year or sophomore year. And then we ended up going to the same college. Makes no sense. Now, I don't usually keep grudges, but I still, like, remember that. But, like, we have seen each other on campus. And we cool now and everything. But, like, back then, he was a certified. But, um, back then, like, when we were cool and talking... Basically, he was giving me all the energy, but then he'll always choose another girl, which I think that's the reason why, like, the root of my problems, always feeling insecure. We started with him, but we're gonna get into that into another video about my problems and stuff. But to continue on, um, so me and okay, so basically, he like we would be texting crazy on the phone, like, crazy. But he knew that I would write stories, and before I even thought about putting this whole book on Wattpad, I was writing these chapters in classrooms, even at home, just writing on my piece of paper. I even still got some old pieces of paper of me writing like old behind splits. <laughs> but, um, so what I would do is, I would, I would like, because I don't know, I guess back then, the reason I'm not inspired to really write too much anymore is because at least back then, it was easy for me to write it because I always imagined myself with him. So like when I was writing the chapters, you know, I said, and I switched the names up and says like Shmatio and all them. 
but in reality i already wrote this about somebody else so it was easy for me to just write this down and like i was always had crazy matches so anytime i thought of something i'll just write it out and people loved it like i kept getting comments hearts like i said still to this day my book got 55k i don't know how but thank you thank you and he we gonna name him um I don't know what to even name because if I name him anything, I probably pick him sharp, connecting the dots, you know. But um, they gonna name him Dog. So when Dog would see me writing the chapters, so more like he was so interested. But I write chapters about us, and he would read them. And he would love it. But um, it's just so crazy doing all that, and he still didn't want me, and I did everything. But that's nothing. Another thing. Another story, can't cuss on this thing, but yeah. So, like I said, uh, basically the whole thing about this whole Shamatio book was that these chapters is already like pre-made and pre-written. I just had typed it up on my phone. I got a chance during the era of 2016, cause I'm not gonna lie, that was like the height of Wattpad, like fanfiction.net, like all that stuff. I was reading the K-pop K imagines. I was reading Mons Behavior, like the blame like it was it was crazy you if you did not experience that in 2016 you definitely missed that because i mean they have it nowadays but it just don't hit the same because back then we had boy bands and people were just wild it was hella fun and i feel like to me still to this day rather watching like blank stuff i would rather read it because it just it just gives you a different thing it's just like because when you read it i don't know what it is your mind can imagine it i don't know y'all need to i'm gonna put y'all on y'all better start reading these books like that okay and see what the heck they got ads like why is wattpad doing that why the heck they got ads like we got some sleepover part two now we finna get into the juicy juicy all right now it says warning viewers it does become freaky like this was so cringy like reading this now this is so cringy and wow this got 1.63k and 40 stars and 30 comments we can go through the comments too it's funny so i said it starts off with no don't leave me i'm supposed to be spending some time with you before i go right now let me go put on some clothes to sleep in i will come straight back matteo says i then smile and say yeah of course i won't leave you i might as well stay up until you get sleepy why he went to go eat why he went to go get dressed in the guest room i stood up to go get the remote control for the tv before i turned around i felt his arms around my waist <laughs> i was so freaking stupid i just gotta give that extraness for y'all and then oh my why am i putting emojis in a freaking store that's so cringy he said back hugs are life Star, oh, what? Oh, that's, that's disturbing. That's crazy. Um, but in a playful tone, Matteo then says, are you ticklish? I respond in a laughing matter and say no. And was about to continue to say something to he cut me off, tickle me on my stomach. I was laughing all over the ground and he looked straight into my eyes and with no warning, his soft, tender lips touched my lips. <laughs> now, <laughs> Okay, and what would be so funny is like in chapters like fan fiction, like if you know what I'm talking about, they'd be so descriptive. Like, mine's not that bad, but when you read some good, like, them type, they'd be so descriptive, which mean, which is exactly why I'm telling you why you should go read some, you know. Comes you on the dark side. In response, I kissed back and man, it was so passionate. He was also a good kisser. Rubbing my hands through his hair and his hands rubbing my curves, it felt like it could last for a very long time. He then pulled away and started to kiss my neck everywhere, basically looking for my sweet spot. I can't wait. And I let out a quiet moan. <laughs> See, I was gonna shout a moan, but I'm not. That's that's too much. And with that, Matteo smirked. With that, I whispered, please. And Taylor said, please what? He was really turning me on, so I responded saying, I need you. Now, mind you, <laughs> I didn't know nothing about this. And this is crazy. Crazy. Let's go read the comments on that part because I see 16 comments. Let's go read. Okay. okay. Cha. Oh, yeah. This is back in 2017 when I wrote this. That's crazy. 
Somebody said, oh snap, time for me to log out now. They said, all oh, ish, them lips gonna get little tater tart dry. <laughs> what? Here we go again with the lips again. He said, I love them type of hugs. That was, oh, actually, no, this was made 2016. So yeah, this, this is pretty old, very old. He picked me up from the ground and put my legs around his waist and carried me to my bedroom. I think that sounds kind of sweet, you know. He let me down. I took off my shirt, pants, and bra off, only keeping on my panties. And seeing him start to look at me, he then says, wow, your body looks amazing. I blushed and walked eagerly to him and pulled him by his shirt collar and say, you better strip before I rip it off. What? Girl was wild back then, that's what I'ma say. I whispered, biting down on my lip. He then takes off his clothes and I want to pleasure him for. Cha. Whew. Look at that. I could see his member. <laughs> was fully. My, okay, look another fun fact. I don't know what it was, but I did not like saying the D word. Like, I'd be like, for some reason, in my chapters back then, I'll always write member. Like, so you already know what I'm talking about. I just want to say the word. So if you hear me say member, that's something you, you know what I'm talking about. All right, what's fully erected? I get on my knees and put my hair into a ponytail and take his food into my mouth. Wow. Moving my head in an up and down rhythm while loving his reaction while looking to his eyes. <laughs> Matthew does a quiet moan and basically tilts his head back and closes his eyes and grab my head and force me had me deep. Girl, you you wild. You wild girl. And you was writing this when you were 15? Cause I don't, yeah, cause technically I don't turn 16 to November and them comments is like September. So girl, you was crazy, crazy. Whew, Lord have mercy. Oh, feeling his legs twitch. I knew he was about to right in my, <laughs> I then pick up my pace and why he in my mouth and I saw, <sighs> girl. Girl, what? The, here I go with the freaking emojis again, y'all. Y'all see that? XD spitters are quit. No comment, no comment. At that, he lays my body on my bed and spreads my legs while he kissed my neck down to my stomach and slowly took up. Smirking, he let his tongue roam around in my. Oh Lord, Jesus. Oh Lord, he inserted another finger in our mouth and little screams say, oh yes, big. Oh Lord. See, I gotta keep it PG so I can go read all of it, but y'all know where to read it. Y'all know where to go. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Y'all can go read most of it yourself. Okay, we, we at the end, y'all. All I could hear was morning Phil in the room, wanting to ride. I turned a red cloud on top and just started grinding on his <laughs> You see what I just said? I don't ever say the, the word. I say either member or wood. Hopping up and down, screaming as my face puts a tighter grip on my waist and pound. It's in me. Shut his eyes and was biting his lip. The bed wall frame was hitting against my wall even more. <laughs> Girl was wild. You know, and it's crazy because I was for real having imagined about that. And I would just, and mind you, the guy who I liked back then, he was reading this mess. That's probably why he kept me around. Ooh, but that's going to be another story. So I'm going to talk about his behind. He held me and kissed my head and said thank you. I looked up at him and said no thank you and kissed Ned leaving him a hickey which he did the same. The sun was already out shining. It was now 6.30 in the morning. We didn't feel like taking a shower yet so we just went to sleep but yeah. 
there's so much things to unpack and like that's just one of the challenges y'all didn't see the other ones i think there's another one that's in there that's like, even worse but yeah a girl i don't know but my book got crazy views like during that time people was reading because then too like i said at the time i was smart to make sure i had changed the names to someone that was popular at the time which it was ao and tao so like i was always doing and matches about them and then people will actually go on my dms and like request chapters and stuff like girl was in her little but the bad thing about it is i did hear some stuff about wattpad though i heard that a lot of people that made a lot of views and stuff they was sometimes well i mean when you agree to the terms they i didn't even read it but they said they can use your writing to make a movie and that you might not even have any part into it which is crazy because i think um what was it that movie that's on netflix or i don't know or is it Fifty Shades of Grey that was actually started from Wattpad? And I don't know if that girl got any money. But yes, yeah, some of them, the movies, be sound like some Wattpad stuff. And they really be using a lot of these teens' work. Why is my hair? They be using a lot of these teens' work to get it, you know, on the screen or whatever. But yeah, that's just something quick. And yeah, that, it was so embarrassing. I hate even reading it. It's so, I don't want to tell anybody that. I even write smut because then they're gonna read it and they're gonna judge me because it's like girl and then the punctuation was horrible and then I put emojis like just so cringe worthy but I mean I keep it because it's like it's a memory for me it's always a core memory back then but yeah so that's the end of my freaking video it's something short and sweet but I hope y'all enjoyed it I try to stay like as PG as possible because I don't want my stuff to get like age restricted. But you get what I'm saying. The link is in the description. Y'all can go read it yourself. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Like y'all just be viewing my stuff. You know I love my stalkers. You know you can look anytime a view is a view. But make sure you leave a like. God dang. And um, after this we are gonna definitely be right back in order. And definitely stay tuned for more videos. And make sure you follow me and connect me on all my social media platforms. Yeah, girls got her hair did. I know the edges look kind of a mess, but it's because I'm not gonna lie, I just came back inside from going shopping. I'm finna relax, watch BMF, and sit behind the bed. <laughs> Done with it. I did some thumbnails. I did thumbnails. Okay.